power plants generally use a type of boiler called a water tube boiler. Pulverized coal is then burned inside the boiler. The incoming water initially passes through an economizer session. Here, the water will capture energy from the flue gas. Now, the working fluid is back to its original state, high pressure and high temperature. This steam can be fed back into the steam turbine. And the cycle can be repeated over a even more heat is added. And with that, the steam becomes superheated. The higher the temperature of the steam, the more efficient the cycle. Just remember the Carnot's theorem of maximal thermal efficiency possible. But the steam turbine material will not withstand temperatures of more than 600 or heat after the first turbine stage. This is known as reheating, and it will increase the temperature of the steam again, leading to a high power output and greater efficiency. The low pressure sides of the power plant are prone to suck the atmospheric air to the feed water. Steam bubbles so generated will absorb the dissolved gases. The mixing also preheats the feed water, which helps improve the efficiency of the power plant to an even greater extent. All these techniques make the modern power plant work under an efficiency water from the condenser outlet is sprayed in the cooling tower, which induces a natural air draft and the sprayed water loses heat. This is how a colder liquid is always provided at the condenser inlet. At the heat addition side, the burning coal produces many pollutants. We cannot release face of darkness. Over the next century and a half, we took a world which had dominated us and transformed it into this. An electrified environment which responds to our every need. We control our climate, process information, and tend to our health with power that flows hundreds of miles without interruption for years. Or it might be a nuclear plant incongruously perched at the edge of the shimmering Pacific Ocean. A plant that on its own produces 20% of Southern California's energy. Or maybe it is simply this, a house that generates more energy than it consumes and returns that surplus to the electrical grid for public use. A new model for the future of power plants. But whatever guys contemporary power plants take, the basics of their design and their integrate complete distribution system for light and power. On September 4, 1882, after delays and cost overruns, Edison opened the first electric utility, the Pearl Street Station in the heart of Lower Manhattan's financial district. Edison knew that his product was going to be expensive and would need to reach many customers. The whole reason for uh, Edison's Pearl Street Station in New York City